This is a Golfsmith News Update. Some of the world's best golfers and some of the country's bravest hit golf balls down the middle of 54th Street in Manhattan to celebrate the arrival of TaylorMade's highly anticipated club launch of the R11 and Burner Superfast white drivers. And TaylorMade and Golfsmith announced the arrival in a big way, building a huge 120-foot long, 40-foot high driving range right in the middle of the street in front of Golfsmith's Midtown store. It took about six hours to erect the whiteout driving range complete with falling snow. And when it was done, hundreds looked on as tour pros Martin Keimer and Sergio Garcia took target practice with the new white drivers. You have that white look with the, with the, black, with the black face, so it's, it's very radical, but it, it helps you a lot to line up the ball and obviously the feel is good. And a lot of players are playing it. The TaylorMade R11 features the company's three dimensions of distance and 3D tuning technologies, allowing players to independently tune loft, face angle, and flight path in order to maximize distance off the tee. The Burner Superfast 2.0 is TaylorMade's lightest driver at only 279 grams. According to America's largest golf retailer, Golfsmith, Golfers are buying up the new drivers at record pace. We've doubled our driver sales from any other driver in the past decade. So very, very strong out of the gates, a lot of interest. As taxis rolled down the street, the public and the golf pros took part in a game of target practice for a good cause. Every time they hit the bullseye, a donation to Operation Game On, which uses the game of golf as a rehabilitation tool for injured soldiers, was made. For some of the members of Operation Game On, hitting a ball in the middle of Manhattan is a lifelong memory. We should be doing a lot more than that for these heroes. So it just makes, uh, it's a meaningful thing and you can see how it touches them. For Sergio Garcia, the event was one he'll remember for a long time. Very impressive to be able to, to come here in Midtown, New York and hit some balls and uh, you know, close the street for us. I love the look, uh, the look of it, it's, it's great. The contrast with the white and the black, I think it, uh, it looks amazing. Uh, it's, it's a little bit easier to align. Based on the popularity so far, it's fair to predict there'll be a lot more white on the golf courses this year, even after the snow melts. I'm Jared Brown reporting for Golfsmith.